Okay. Hey guys, I finally got myself to plug in the Neumann TLM-103 microphones again. So we are back using the good microphones. But I just wanted to say that the Electro Voice RE20 tonality-wise, surprisingly, does not bother me. Um, you know, especially like I noticed, like you can get some really good sibilance, some really good articulation, some really good clarity with the Electro Voice RE20 if you talk into it at the right way. You know, you get a lot of articulation, a lot of clarity, a lot of transparency. I really do like the Electro Voice RE20. And in a mix, you know, you got some gameplay. Um, you can't hear the, the preamp hiss. And you end up with a really good isolated sound that sounds really good. Um, that sounds natural. That sounds clear. Um, that works. If you're in a untreated room and you're going to have background audio and you're going to talk really close to this microphone and you have a good preamp with an EIN around a negative 130, negative 131 dBU and you use the microphone properly, you know, you can get really good isolated results that sound perfectly fine, that sound really good. You know, this this microphone measures and sounds close enough to what it should uh, to give you a really transparent sound that I really like. And honestly, I kind of want to keep it because it can give me usable results in a untreated room in very specific scenarios. Now, the thing is, you know, I kind of glanced through my videos the past week or two and even with the Neumann TL-103 microphones, if like I'm reviewing an energy drink or something, it's going to get a couple of hundred views. If I make a clickbait ASMR video, it's going to get thousands of vi views. Okay. So, you know, again, Pokimane has been using the RE20 a lot of her streaming career. And even though a lot of her videos had audible hiss and didn't sound that good because she was talking really far away from the microphone you know it sounded kind of dull <laughs> I don't know maybe that's just how this microphone sounds on women's voices I don't know but you know um maybe the distance because I noticed when I talk closer to it I get more articulation more clarity but um you know so I don't think the microphone the microphone is not what makes the person. So many people are like, oh, Michael Jackson used the Shure SM7B. So I'm going to use it too because it must be really great. You know, Michael Jackson, I think, could have used quite a few different microphones. And, um, you know, still been a hit. So, um, again, do, do I think the RE20 and the Shure SM7B are some of the world's best dynamic microphones after having looked at and bought a shit ton of them? Yes, I do. Tonally, they, they sound amazing. They sound really good. They just, you know, there, there's better things out there, depending on what you're looking for. Um, so I just want to say, like, uh, you know, I am 100% completely satisfied with the tonality of the Electro Voice RE20. Um, and again, a lot of people are getting like black. It's what's in style. It's what's fashionable to get black microphones. And you'll notice, I think independently, you know, when I see somebody with a black TLM-103 or a black RE20, I see them as somebody who's trying to chase a trend. And you know what? When these trend setters, you know, opt for the silver ones, opt for the gray ones. You're going to be the one sitting there like an idiot with a shitty black painted microphone. So, although most of the stuff on my desk is black, you know, I, I just know that silver and gray actually does look better. I don't care if you got some ignoramuses waddling around saying that it's the opposite, you know. Um, so yeah, independent thinking skills and stuff. Th those are the actual trend setters, believe it or not. Not the people who are like, oh, everybody else is getting this and this is what's trending. This is, well, you know, this is what I'm going to get.
so I think I'm going to turn up these microphones a little bit. I'm having to get really close, but I don't know. Maybe that's a good thing because I'm going to be making ASMR. I think I could turn up the gain a tiny bit or, you know, it's, it's pretty good to be able to get these really intimate sounds and, you know, stuff like that. So maybe I'll keep it like this. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it like this because I can actually be pretty aggressive and not clip. A lot of times, like, I can't do a lot of things because I'm going to clip. So anyway, will I return the RE20? I mean, $500 is a lot of money. Um, but this thing is good. I would say that this thing is worth the money um, to some degree, the RE20. If, if you just want to have it, I mean, again, I, I like it, but it costs me money because people want to see me make ASMR videos. But yeah, it's a good microphone. If you use it properly, you get really good, clear, articulate results in an isolated sound, and then you get a bed of audio to put under it. And um, the next thing you know, you know, you got a clean sound. But um, yeah, so I like it. I like it. Am I going to keep it? I don't know. I, I, like I said, I do like it. I don't want to get rid of it. I do like it. It's a, it's a good dynamic microphone. <laughs> 